So I've been going through a lot of batteries with these and over the months, the batteries slowly diminish and we're not getting any response to, from this key fob. And I've been through a number of batteries uh, from different makes and there is a simple fix to this. But first of all, we need to open it up and get inside. So this is just a simple flip type fob. And you can see there's a release pin inside here. Now this is the same for all other key fobs. This problem occurs after time, your batteries degrade and you have problems trying to get the batteries to last any amount of time. So inside here, there's a little release as well. Your key fob may differ. We we'll just place the screwdriver in here and just it just pops open like so. Now we're interested in this side in the terminals. We'll have to do something with this terminal and we also will need to remove the battery because we're going to test this battery. On this side, we're going to do something with the connection points. So these connection points here, they will differ in location to whatever key fob you have for whatever model. And what we first need to do is actually remove this battery, trying to remove it carefully like I'm not doing here, just pulling the thing out. So just be a bit careful, especially if you've got electronics around where the battery sits. The type of battery will be on here. So you can see that it's actually described onto the battery itself. Now, if we have a look at the battery, what actually happens is that you'll see when I connect up this battery via the voltmeter, which I've got all set up, you'll see the battery is actually absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pulling three volts which this battery does. So let's understand what actually is happening. The battery is pulling three volts. It is actually reducing obviously over time. So that voltage level does drop. Now after three weeks, when you see that you're having troubles opening that door, that's because if you look inside the fob, look at the terminals, because the fob is so old, there is wear on those terminals. And that wear causes a pit that fills up with grease and dirt. It can be microscopic, but that actually reduces the connection between the terminal. And that's where you get that intermittent working or not working that plagues you over those months. Simplest thing is that you need to go in there and actually give those a good clean because when you actually purchase the car, that has never been cleaned since. And that just needs to go in there and give that a good clean. So this is just basic lens clean that I'm using. Don't use vinegar, don't use bicarb. They're acidic and alkaline and they will make your problems actually worse over time. Just gonna take a piece of cotton wool and just add that to the screwdriver. So this is a screwdriver that uses for glasses and we're just gonna rotate that so we end up with like a Q-tip, as you can see. And this is quite awkward for me because I'm trying to look through the viewfinder and actually trying to do this at the same time. So this took about three or four different sprays to actually get it onto the cotton bud so I can actually clean these. We want to clean these terminals. And as you can see, these terminals are here and we'll just clean those very simply by just placing the cotton bud or your cotton onto here. That's doused in alcohol and remove those. Again, as I said, use something like pure alcohol. Don't use nail polish remover because that's basically paint stripper. You don't want to do that. So in the housing for the battery, we want to do the same. So we want to have a look at these terminal points. And if you noticed on previously, on the previous shot, there was some wear on those terminals. So you may need to have a look at those terminals and might even drop a bit of solder. If you're good with a soldering iron, if they're really, really worn down, you may have to drop that on there. It's just the residue that causes the continuity to break down between the battery and the actual connection points as the battery slowly loses its voltage. So I'm just gonna add the battery back in. You can see these are quite hard wearing because I'm uh, quite heavy handed here. 
So you can see that these do take some punishment. I would say take a bit more care than what I'm doing here. As again, this is for any key fob. I'll give this a go before you go to the dealer. And you can see that when I press the button and get to it, they actually, it's working absolutely fine now. So that's the same battery, just cleaning the terminals off. It's worth, once you've actually opened this up, it's worth just putting it in somewhere warm to get rid of any dampness in there, just in case you got some moisture in there, because being placed in your pocket can build up moisture in there. So worth doing that first. So that's it. That's how to fix a key fob. Well worth having a go at this first before you go to a dealer. If you go to the dealer just for a battery removal, then just do it yourself. It's far less expensive, easy to do, it will save you money in the long run. And if you're going back and forth to the dealer because of batteries wearing out within a month, three weeks, then this will be probably be your problem because your terminals aren't clean. They haven't been cleaned since the day you bought it and you just need to clean them with some alcohol to get rid of that residue and your problems will be solved. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash M-A-N-G zero. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.